Well, sure, you could buy some fancy dancy portable monitor like Aze's ME16 Z01 with a 15.6 full high definition screen that supports just about everything you could throw at it, even gaming. Or you could make your own portable monitor with a laptop screen and some old PVC scraps you may have laying around the house. But before we get to my homebrew build, why don't we just check out Aze's portable monitor with HDR. Man, I was so excited about unboxing this monitor. I even slapped on a $15 fake Rolex for this occasion. Hope the time is right. <laughs> now this monitor was right up my alley. Not only can you power this monitor with a Type-C connection, there's a separate connection for input for phones and tablets that utilize it as an HDMI. That means my Galaxy S10, well, it automatically can turn into a PC if I would choose. Wow, this is nice. It comes with a free screen protector, a free case that doubles as a stand. It also has all about, I'd say about 30 bucks worth of cables that comes with it. It comes with um, a mini HDMI to a regular HDMI. It has um, dual ended type C's. Man, they really thought of it all, didn't they? It has a bright IPS screen, so it should be viewable from whatever angle you're looking. Built in speakers as well. You'll see in my homebrew PVC portable monitor that there's no audio or jack to attach it to, so that's one consideration in what LCD control board you should purchase if you decide to go to DIY. From right to left you can see the mini HDMI input, right next to it is Type-C input, and lastly is the Type-C power input. Let's move on to the homebrew monitor and then we can test them both together. Basically just make a frame out of half inch PVC. I'm using a 17 inch laptop monitor for this project and I'm just eyeballing it up to size and cuts. I also picked up a control board from eBay simply by punching in the model number that's located on the back of the screen. To hold the monitor into place, I cut wedges into fittings with a Dremel. And because it's painted before I put it together, no glue was necessary. Yeah, it was a real tight fit. Oh, and by the way, I sanded it with 1500 grit sandpaper first, and then I sprayed it with Krylon Fusion Primer and paint. That really works well in plastic. I topped it off with pipe insulation foam for looks and durability. I also put some rubber feet on the top fittings so I could hang it from a shelf or a PC. So now I have a monitor, it works with a 12 volt barrel connector, power source, and it also has an HDMI input. So let's see your rip, tater chip! And now, how about Aze's? Well, dang, option two is looking so very pretty, and uh, even if you just want to watch one of those boring YouTube channels like this, make sure to check out the link in the description. Or maybe this video just wasn't for you. Maybe one of these others I made is. Please feel free to peruse. Stay safe, and thanks, y'all.